Welcome to this interesting question. Given our two equilateral triangles, these green line segments are formed by joining the vertex of these triangles. Exciting part is with this limited data, we have to find value of angle alpha. Let's check the solution. We'll solve it in two ways. Our first approach will be formal approach using geometrical concepts and formulas. Second approach will be logical approach where we'll solve it without any formula. Let's check the first approach. Here it's an equilateral triangle, thus all sides are equal. Let's assume them as a centimeter each. And for this triangle, assume it as b centimeter. Now equilateral triangle, each angle is of 60 degree. And this angle will also be of 60 degree. And this is angle in a straight line. So this angle in between is also 60 degrees. Now if you look at the triangle ACD and triangle BCE, in these two triangles, the sides are a centimeter and b centimeter and angle between them is 120 degree so it's again a centimeter and b centimeter and angle in between them is 120 degree so by side angle side these two triangles are congruent to each other as the triangles are congruent thus the corresponding parts will be equal and here angle a that will be equals to angle b here so if we'll assume angle b as beta degree then this angle here on top this will also be beta degrees now this angle a this is angle of equilateral triangle so it's 60 degrees here and this angle so the full angle is 60 degrees so this remaining angle is 60 minus beta now again if you look at triangle a b f now in this triangle alpha which we have to find is an exterior angle and this alpha degree is equal to sum of interior opposite angles so it will be equal to angle b plus angle a or 60 minus beta plus 60 plus beta so here beta degree will get cancelled down and we'll get alpha as 120 degree and that's our answer now let's check the logical approach now here there is no relative size of equilateral triangles is given that means that for any size of equilateral triangle we take the value of angle alpha should not change otherwise the question will become invalid so if we'll reduce this purple triangle then still the value of angle alpha should remain same and to start with let's extend this green line segment slightly further and now reduce the size of this purple triangle this figure still meets all the original data of the question and thus the value of angle alpha should remain same how about if we'll reduce the size of this purple triangle to a point triangle here now this triangle has become a point triangle here and we can easily find the value of angle alpha as this angle is 60 degree here so alpha is 180 minus 60 or alpha is 120 degree and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed the solution i will see you in next video till then tata bye bye